In this video, I'm going to do treatment for anterior part of neck. This part is oftentimes ignored because many people focus on backside. Backside is of course important, but front part is also important. Tightness around this area can inhibit neck movement. That can induce neck pain. Let's see range of motion. He is not too bad. Actually, he is very flexible, but he can obtain more changes. Okay. I'm going to work on left side anterior part. I hold hyoid bone and I put my left hand on clavicle. Then I work fascia on anterior part of neck. This is middle layer of neck fascia. Nice. And I work on superficial layer of neck fascia on left side. Nice range of motion check. Rotation, very nice. Left side. Good. Now, I do myofascial release for longus coli, which is right in front of cervical spines. This is very deep muscle, and I am very careful because there is common carotid artery and vagus nerve are very close to longus coli. I need to be very, very careful. Now I do same thing on left side. You don't see my left hand from video, but imagine I am doing myofascial release for longus coli. Nice. And I do myofascial release for sternoplate mastoid on clavicle. Good, range of motion check. Extension, ah, oh, very nice. Do you remember what I said on first part? When anterior part gets tight, that can inhibit neck movement rotation nice right rotation very very nice of course i focus on posterior part but uh, equally i focus on front part as well so if you liked today's video please hit the like button comment and subscribe see you next video